If I had to describe myself, I would say I am very sensitive, very adventurous, and everyone loves me. I mean, what's not to love, you know? I've been traveling the world since a young age. When I was 17, I went on vacation with my mother to Argentina. I fell in love with the country, and I decided I wanted to live there and learn Spanish. And then I refused to come home. It's true. <laughs> I was living in Argentina two years when I met Leandro. Leandro quickly became my best friend, and I wanted to move back to the US, and I thought the best way to do that was to marry him and take him with me. So we got married six months later. Leandro and I were married for 10 years, but we were separated for the last three. I was young and immature, and I definitely rushed into a responsibility that I wasn't ready for. Last year, we agreed to get a divorce. I definitely was not looking for love after my divorce. I wanted to get to know myself and to see the world and spend my time traveling. I saw that the ticket to Ethiopia was very cheap, so I said, why not? I was waiting for a taxi outside a local hotel, and I saw a very attractive guy. I yelled out, don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> and it actually worked. Binyam is 29 years old. He's from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and everybody calls Binyam baby. Was it instant attraction? Yeah, I really liked his smile. What else did you like about him? I don't, I don't have good eyesight, so I think that's all I saw. <laughs> I desperately did not want a boyfriend at the time that I met Binyam because I definitely did not need the responsibility of being in a relationship. I did my best to avoid him. I told him, you know, we can't talk anymore. I can't see you anymore several times. But every time I would call him again, and ask him, oh, can you come over? Uh, what are you doing? And after dating for three months, I got some unexpected news. I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> hey, I can't encourage you enough to reach out to other moms in this community. I'm six months pregnant with a baby boy. And let's take a seat. When I found out I was pregnant, I was really scared. So after three months, I came back to the US for prenatal care. Namaste. Namaste. So a big piece of prenatal yoga is the community. So let's go around the room and your name, how many weeks you are, and your birthing plan that you want to share with the group. My name is Ariella. I'm 26 weeks. And uh, my birthing plan is interesting uh, because I'm actually having the baby in Ethiopia where my boyfriend is from. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's really important for both parents to be present at the birth. So the only way we can do that is by me moving to Ethiopia. But I'm nervous about it because obviously uh, they speak a different language, it's a different culture, and they have different you know, facilities. And you know, not, they're not being an epidural. Like, that's something that really scares me. I'm not, I don't have a high pain tolerance. The whole country, there are no epidurals? Yeah, so I um, have been contacting hospitals and so far they say that they don't have the medicine. The OBGYN in Ethiopia told me that they have anesthesiologists who are trained to administer epidurals, but they often have a shortage of medications. My biggest fear about giving birth in Ethiopia is that I won't get the proper attention and care that they afford to you in hospitals in the US. I'm making a sacrifice. I hope that it turns out the way that I want it to.